Hey guys, what's up? It's Aletha and Jay. Uh, this is our first MRE review. It's not technically an MRE review, where it's just a bunch of components that I was too impatient to wait to open. Um, in the background, you'll see a camp stove, a World War II mess kit with the silverware, my father's Boy Scout knife, and a regular old canteen. Um, Jay is here. Hey guys. Um, we have a lot to show, so here we go. What we're going to do tonight is I have some pizzas from the uh, end of the year contest from Memory Nation that I did not win on, however. Um, I got a couple of dessert packs and some spreads and bread. Uh, but we are going to do two pizza slices. Um, the hand model VJ. Um, and we have our FRH. We're going to put both of them in the flameless ration heater. We are going to put one pizza on one side of the heater and the other pizza on the other side of the heater to see if this will work. Okay, now after that little technical difficulty of getting it in the bag, we finally have got it halfway in the bag. So we are going to take this little bottle of water. And we're going to pour it into the fill line. Never saw pizza not want to go in a bag before. I'm going to pour it into the fill line. If I can see the fill line. Ooh, that's a little bit too much, but it'll be alright. So we're going to fold this away from us. I'm going to shake it around a little, try to get it in between, make it a mess as always. And with magic of camera I will be cleaning that mess up. Notice that the fork is missing from the mess kit. I have used it to keep the bag clipped with some ingenuity. And it is in the sink because this FRH is working way better than the last ones that we've tried. So, next comes our other fun components. Um, I've always wanted to try these. They're the Meagering Noodles. I ordered them from Bob at uh, Minotaur Trading Company, who is one of the best companies that I've ever ordered from. Uh, that and MREnation.com. Uh, we are going to try that. We have some water in the coffee pot. We're cheating. Okay, so I'm kind of a chucklehead and we opened that meagerang off camera, but inside there, uh, you basically pour the water in and cook it seven minutes in the bag. Uh, I got a couple seasonings in there. Uh, this is just some Minyak bamboo, the seasoning oil. Uh, we got some soy sauce, a little chili sauce, and then just your fried onion and regular, almost like your uh, seasoning from ramen noodles. That's what we got there. So, here's my tray. Um, like I said, we're kind of new at this, so it's kind of a winging it type of thing. Um, we also have these Swedish cups. They're pretty cool. We got them at the military surplus store. CC military yeah, surplus CC's store. In Iowa City, Iowa. Not a sponsor. Yes, not a sponsor. Um... However, we are kind of going to be weird because I did get some Minotaur, like I said, Minotaur Trading Company stuff. So we got some instant white rice here. And we got some instant mashed potatoes. Oops. And I will have pictures later on about the all the nutrition facts. So we're going to get those mixed up right now. Um, we're going to open them up here and show you what's inside. It's got this pouch is um gusseted on the bottom which is going to make the mashed potatoes really easy to make because it's going to stand up. However, the rice pouch is not gusseted. So I'm going to use my friend CT's idea and use this here beverage bag, hot beverage bag. 
to put their rice in by itself. So in a moment we will be back and have rice. Okay guys, so stepped away there and got some water and the potatoes here. Um, only takes four ounces, uh, boiling water. Let it sit for eight minutes. Uh, you can see inside there, just instant potatoes, but they really, really smell pretty good. Um, so we're gonna let that go and see what that comes out in a little bit there. So here's my four ounces of water with my rice. I can go, whoopsie, and again I made a mess. This happens a lot. I'm a firm believer that if the kitchen's not dirty when you're cooking, it doesn't taste good. However, here is the rice. I'm gonna mix it up. All right, so with the magic of editing and camera, we cleaned up the mess. So we have this high energy, high calorie survival bar that I got in the Minotaur Trading Company. See, there's the Minotaur. Um, and I'm going to have my husband open it up and we are going to use, do some of the crunchy and we're gonna do some of it rehydrated. Let's open this up a little bit here. Pretty easy to tear there. Inside we got a bar. That has another wrapper on it. That is not in one piece, it is broken. That's okay. We're gonna break it anyway. We're gonna use that side for the uh, rehydrate. So here we got our dry bar. It's actually pretty pliable. Like yeah. looking pretty soft. It smells like cereal. Got a decent smell. Um, so we're gonna mix. We're gonna leave this one sit dry here. We're gonna add some water to this. Let it rehydrate. We'll see what we can come up with. Give me one second here. Getting our hot water from my magical cheating coffee pot. Field coffee pot. <laughs> Just add a little bit there. We don't want to kill it too much. And then we'll see what that does. Okay. So we put some in the compartment here on the top left that is rehydrating right now. Um, next we have our filled French toast. And see, these are just random things that I've picked out. Um, I'm standing behind the camera, so I'm going to open this one here. See how easy it is to do. Not too bad. Not, not too difficult. And there's the do not eat pouch of fun. Ooh, that pouch smells nice even. It, it very smells syrupy. very wonderful. Um, I'm going to tear it and we'll see how it looks inside. Oh, it's pretty broken here. So, oh boy. Look at that pull. Anyway, so there's that. We'll set it up, up in the top right. Decent filling in there. That's a good amount of filling. Uh, the next we're going to do are cold drinks, which I have picked all four of the cold drinks from MRA Nation and Minotaur Trading Company. And these are cute little pouches. Um, this one's great. This one has got 100% vitamin C. It said add 8 ounces of water. I, however, do not really like them diluted. So we're going to add a little less than 8 ounces. We'll break out our, so we're going to break out our Swedish cups Swedish here. Swedish cups here with the matching set. Look at that. And then I'm not 100% sure how we're going to, well, we'll bust out the hotel coffee cups as well, I guess. All right, so we got a grape here. We'll go ahead and put that in my cup, I guess. Grape it's, would be Aletha's favorite, I'm sure, but. Here's the funny part that he does not know yet. These are clear. Mm -hmm. So we're, this is going to be a trial and error type of thing on what is what. Here we're going with a pink lemonade. Fruit punch. Last one is orange, and from what I've heard and seen, 
This is the best one. So we are going to mix. Say about six ounces. That's the way we yeah, ink it. Six ounces. And it is clear. There. Go for two bottles there. Here, I happen to have one right here. Okay, we're back. My camera's a little crooked. Sorry. So we have all the we had technical difficulties. Um, I did not get a big enough SD card quite yet. Um, but you got to do what you got to do. So I had to clear it off and start again. Um, we have everything ready to go. Um, so I'm going to take out the pizzas from the FRH. Here's my migraine noodles that are going into this here cup. Oh, good broth. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Um... I don't know if you're supposed to put all the sauces on it, so... I think, it's, I think it's a matter of flavor. This is your seasoning packet. Okay, put those in. And you have sauces on the side. Here's pizza slice number one. I have the answer. Okay, third time is a charm on this whole hot mess. Um, my husband is using my bowling pin pocket knife that I gave him during my last bowling tournament. I, uh, I'm kind of lame, but whatever. Um, so the migraine noodles are ready to go. Um, he's putting all the spices in just so we can try them with all the spices in. And the next time I did buy three of them. Do you just want the oil or you want the chili sauce? Just, yeah. Okay. I'm going to rock and roll. Just don't cut your finger off. She is pretty sharp for a little bowling pin. Got to be careful there. Uh, this is just seasoning oil of some form. And much to my dismay, she's going to try the chili sauce. Uh, that I'll one let, is soy sauce. Let you know right now, she's uh, not a spice eater, so this should be pretty interesting to see. However, we did not think this whole thing through. And I did not want to use my fork from... The mess set, so I have a clear fork from Walmart. And apparently something is fun. <clears throat> I'm going to say that I, I made an error there, guys, and I had a little taste of that chili sauce, which is very good. Um, you're about to see a side of Aletha that no one's ever seen. It's not something she's going to enjoy, I'm afraid, but we, she has surprised me before, so hopefully this numbs it down for her. We also have our pizza slice fresh out of FRH. Pizza slice, wow. I'm going to open this puppy. Oh boy. Oh, I should probably did that on the camera. It smells like pizza, I guess. Kind of. It smells like pepperoni. There's your first look at our MRI pizza. And my husband has to get a knife on his. Yeah, my hand has been acting up for a while now, so we'll just give that a cut. Not ashamed. I believe my pizza is the same pizza. Came out of the same MRE. Uh, there we go. And pepperoni everywhere. Two slices Yay. of pepperoni pizza. Okay, so I had an idea. Um, our it came with butter buds. The meal did. So butter buds. I have butter buds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split said butter buds with the mashed potatoes and the rice. So we're going to move this over here. Easy tear there. 
from the rice. It smells like rice. Thank you, CT, for the idea of the rice in the hot beverage bag. It worked wonderfully. And here comes the mashed potatoes. I'm going to say, as far as instant potatoes go, these smell very good. Um, they, they smell just as good as any brand you're going to go buy at a store. So I have high hopes for them. So, us being in a hotel room, I'll give you a little idea of why we're here. My nephew that I have custody of is undergoing some cancer issues. Um, he had his thyroid taken out last year and he now has to have his tonsils out at the age of 22 who he does not understand that the pain is going to be amazing because I had mine out at 18. But here we are. So uh, the University of Iowa Hospital has been amazing for him. Um, the Children's Hospital is amazing. Ironically, Jay and I both work at Walmart. We were on the Walmart floor last year. So, you know, long story short, that's why we're here. So I'm going to give these, well, I'm in a minute because I happen to have salt and pepper. Which we are going to try this first without. Go for the rice first, yeah, are we? Go for the rice first. The butter buds help, and you totally dropped rice in that drink. They definitely need salt. Excuse me for talking with my mouth open. They definitely need salt. The butter buds are very awesome, as usual. I've not seen butter buds in a very long time. There's the salt. Here is the pepper. It's a fairly decent rice. It's yeah, it reconstituted very well. It's not it's not crunchy. It's not it's not overly soggy, but it's you know it's it's cooked. It's a sticky rice. It's yeah. it's a general sticky rice. I'm gonna try it with salt and pepper now. I will do that as well. I just drop some too. Pepper really helps it out there. Not a big salt guy. The pepper gives it a nice flavor. So, since I was a ding dong and put salt and pepper on the t on the oops, good job on the mashed potatoes. Um, I'm gonna go from underneath here to get a bite of the mashed potatoes without the salt and pepper and butter bud. I don't know if I get All right, well. them. Are, I do not like instant mashed potatoes. Anybody that knows me knows that I do not like instant mashed potatoes. These are, they're pretty bland and boring. Yeah, they're kind of watery. And a little watery. I think we added too Maybe much water, too though. Much, yeah. Didn't stir it good enough. But, uh, I'm going to give it a good stir with the butter buds and stuff on it, and we'll give her another go. Still bland. Typical. They're typical instant mashed potatoes. On a, on a standpoint of the sides we picked, I think that I would be going with the rice. If first. the meal was an option for selection wise and it was between the two of them, the rice would definitely be the winner of that. The potatoes are good, but they're not. There's just not a lot of flavor. Hot sauce would probably fix that. Uh, I have some of that for another episode. Yes, we got some of. Uh that out of the Minotaur Trading Company. Um, we actually, some of the stuff is coming out of the Beast. I am a very impatient person, so I opened it very quickly. As soon as I got it, actually. So the Meagering Noodles, Jay thinks that I'm not going to like, but they smell delicious. I am a huge ramen noodle fan. So, you know, the good old school days. Uh, one second, and I will take, tell you how it tastes. By a look on her face, I'd say that the chili sauce got numbed down. She doesn't seem to be complaining about the hot, so that's good because it about lit me on fire. 
It's actually really good. Try it. Go ahead and get in here on there. It's got like a slow heat. I don't mind slow heat. I do not like super fast heat. Like I could probably eat these all day long. Um, I know this sounds bad to do, but we, I've been smelling this stuffed French toast for a little, like 20 minutes now. So I'm going to take a drink of my whatever clear beverage this is. We're going to. We're going to roulette it. Yeah. Roulette, a little bit of beverage all roulette. Right, so here we go. So I pink lemonade. Oh, that's great. Oh, that is, you, you want to switch? <laughs> yeah, that is, switch. uh, ooh, that's like drinking NyQuil. Not a fan. I don't like grape drink. I love um, it. I will tell you right now that that is grape drink. So, uh, if you're into that, you'll probably like it. So, here, I'm going to show you this wonderful goodness of breakage here. Look at the pull on that. There we go. And I will share. Um, oh, that smells just... It almost makes you hungry. Um, this is by far my favorite MRE component so far. That I've ever really tasted. And... Wow. I cannot believe the maple flavor in that. I had a bite out of that. I'm going to go back for two because that is really I had like good. four because I had to make the wine even. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't really, wow. I have That's another one of those hiding at home under my bed. It's a pretty versatile, I mean, breakfast, snack. Here's going to be the kicker part. We're gonna, it's creamy. I'm afraid of it. This is that uh, high protein cereal bar. Yeah, it's not. And Jay seems to be afraid of it, so this is what I'm gonna do. Oh. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's not bad. It's like, it's kind of like, it's like soggy frosted flakes, is what it tastes like. But it did not reconstitute well. No, it didn't. It didn't absorb. Um, try a piece of the dry, but I'm pretty sure it'll be just the same without the water mixed into it. Saliva would do about the same thing, I would think. I don't know, we got a pretty chunky. I actually think it stands fine on its own. I don't think it needs the water. Ooh. Boy, they weren't kidding. The oranges are the best. This is fruit punch. Um, it's pretty okay. I think out of the four... The pink lemonade is my favorite. Um, I am definitely not a huge fruit punch fan. I don't think I ever will be, but I will suffer. Um, the grape and the orange are my favorite. Orange for sure. Um, now all we have left to try is the pizza. Like, for real. So, well... Well, I'm gonna finish this uh, this drink so we can make our, oh, our coffee. Our coffees. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna hammer this. Hey I'm Zach, do you wanna try a powdered drink? Sure. All right, come on over here. You got raised in my grape. Let these people know what you think. Okay, so this video is gonna take like four or five tries for me to get correct on the editing. Because I've had to take the SD card out and transfer it over to my laptop and then put the card back, delete that and put the card back in. So this is taking a little bit longer than most. 
which you can tell by our snacking on our tray here. We've eaten a lot of our stuff. Mm -hmm. And it will be gone because my nephew, you know, it's garbage disposal. So I do not like coffee by itself. Um, I like it with, you know, mocha, whatever. But Steve, 1989, has been talking about uh, combat mocha chinos for, you know, God knows how long. And so I'm going to do what he does. I'm going to be a coffee beaver. Anyways, there is the coffee going into mine. And my cup is not in the film. And just has a tear notch right here. And I'm probably going to spill. Oh, yep, see? And then there it goes, the hot cocoa. Oh, it's deep rich coffee, so my husband is however going to try Probably this. Oh, just having the regular coffee. The hot chocolate smells like hot chocolate. It says to add water. Six ounces of hot water. So we are going to add six ounces of hot water. Call it. Mm, I guess. Good enough. I also, while we're, I was transferring the files over, made him make us new hot water. Our pizza's, however, getting cold, so that far it's just kind of waste, but whatever. We got some creamer here. Uh, I'm the cream and sugar guy, so I'll be putting cream in mine. I forgot to put the cream, creamer, into the mashed potatoes. So guess what I'm going to do? A little bit of sugar for me. If I can get it open. Are you having the sugar as well? Mm, I don't know yet. Okay. So I put some of the creamer in the mashed potatoes. We'll see what happens. It's kind of a thicker hot cocoa. I kind of like it. And yes, I used my fork. Alright, there's your creamy mashed potatoes. Ooh. And my coffee a little stir here. I'm stealing this one. <laughs> wow. Taste it. Help? Taste it. Oops. I mean, I gave it a little bit, but I don't. It's just not my favorite. All right, here goes nothing. Try to burn my mouth. Try my coffee here. Oh, Steve, that was a great idea. Um, yep, that's a cup of coffee. Mm. Some of my coffee is, however, sticking to the bottom. So now comes the part that Jay and I have been kind of dreading since we, I opened the package of mine. My pizza looked like somebody forgot the cheese on one side of the pizza. From here over has cheese. From here over has one piece. Jay's pizza, however, looks good. Looks like getting in the oven a little bit too long. But whatever. So here goes nothing. Let's find a good meat piece there. This side looks good. <laughs> so I mean, it tastes like pizza. Pepperoni's kind of almost got like a beef jerkiness. Which around here we do have some beef jerky pepperoni kind of things. Um, but it's got a decent flavor. I'd give it about a 6 out of 10. 
I mean, it, it'd work in a pinch. It, it's pretty good. I'm thinking, hold on. Zach is giving it a 10 out of 10. Um, okay, so... I'm a brutally honest person. I am not a pizza fan. Like, I like pizza, but not, like, to an extreme. The cheese is, like, plasticky. Like, it, it's got the uh, plastic feel in your mouth. Um, but, you know, it is pretty good for being an MRE pizza. So, that's pretty much everything that we wanted to review today. Um, not sure exactly what will be next or when will it will be next. But I will be editing this video later on and the majority of the stuff will be taken out. Alright.